Hello everybody, this is my today's Friday game. Marta plays 30 minutes of a random game. I would like to do proper coverage on this when it fully comes out. But for now, Slime Rancher is a really adorable game in early access. Um, let's do 5 day rush, which is getting the most of things possible in 5 days. And yeah. It might not have like the most perfectest of everything's because, well, the it no it no greaty because oh wow, uh, thanks for the achievement. <laughs> it, it no runny greaty because it's still zero point three, I think. Or is, is it zero point seven? Either way, it's. It's not where it should be, it's as early access as it is, as it can be. Let's just get a lot of cowards. Because I think I know a certain fat slime that might appreciate them. No, I think that certain fat slime likes fruit more. But we'll see. That certain fat slime might accept carrots, I forgot now. And the reason why we want to go for a certain fat slime is because certain fat slimes give you keys. The game is super cute though. Oh god, cat slimes. No, I don't I don't want you. You're super common. I want I want you. I want you, my kitty. And yeah, they merge and they create even cuter slimes. Making them super awesome creatures of awesomeness. And you don't want merge slimes to merge because bad things happen if that happens. Aww, chicken! Uh, normally, for feeding the slimes, you want fat slime to eat 40 of something, so. Just running to the end. Get the best slimes that I can. I will probably completely fail at this rush. Yeah, you eat meat. Wait a minute. I completely forgot that. There is a rad slime. Not a fat slime. I think it was a rad slime. Either way. Ah! You rock slam. You cute rock slam. Uh. Remember there being another fat slime out of which you can get keys out of. But I don't remember the precise location. Screw my mind. 100% not here. At least I think so. No! No die. Us no die. We are gonna steal your beetroot though. Not interested in you slimes, just in your beetroot. Woo! See? Slime keys. We don't remember if that area exists yet, but... I think the last time I visited it didn't, but I think it does by now. And yeah, we need to find a way down. Marta needs to waste less time, and she needs to feed a slime. Force feed the slime, nice stuff. Make it grow huge. Huge slimes are good slimes. Good slimes are good times. Let me sit here. Well, that's another huge slime. See, there's multiple big slimes. Light everything. I'll make you explode, slime. Eat all of the fruits. Eat all of the beets. And there's a couple of other things here. Ah, let me pick it up. 
Some more fruit. We're not gonna feed it tabby cat because it can't eat that. It needs more food! The reason why we're feeding a huge slime is because to give you keys and keys let you progress to better areas and better areas have slimes that pay you more. Fortunately, wild slimes have this tendency to eat everything around, which makes finding food hard. Silly slimes and their eating habits. My fruit. No food for you. And if we get into the area with better slimes... And better slime ports... Then... We gonna have more monuments, and if we have more monuments, we do better at this challenge, Cookie. Need more food. Wish I could clean the slimes out of my land. Shoo, go away. Shoo, slime, shoo. Yeah, for now, these ones will do. This is our only thing. Um, we do want high walls. And after that, we will likely want all of these upgrades as well. But that's a bit later. Reason why I want high walls is because once I get the key and go to the nice slime place and get some nice slimy slime slimes, they're gonna jump high. See, Mertes knows what she does in this game. She played far too much Slime Rancher to not know what she does in this game. It's because this game is cute and Myrta likes cute things. And they're just adorable. Unfortunately, they have this tendency to die a lot because they're not... No, don't eat the fruit. I need to feed that to the big slime. Chickens too. Okay. I need to feed all the chickens. You cannot has. You cannot has slime. There's three slimes. Actually, even more. I think there's more than three slimes and slime keys on this map. At least it was something like three when I visited the last time. But then I entered a new area and there was like five. I cannot math. Don't ask me to do math things. Ends badly. Got some regular slimes. They are gonna start self-destructing at some point. Not intentionally. Before they do that, I'll try and steal as much stuff as I can. Ow. My boyfriend is playing with the cat. Cat climbed into the covers. Cat cute. Come on, you big thing. You're hungry, you big little slime. Yeah, like that. See? Poof! Yay! To celebrate, here have some kitties. Now that we have a key, we will be able to go and unlock an area. But first of all, we're gonna go back and unport ourselves. And we do this because it's a good idea. It's a good idea to not have a hundred ports taking up your space because you don't want a hundred ports taking up your space. While we're going to unport, we might as well take any remaining ports here. Or anything that we can take for that matter, because we're gonna sell that for months. 
Actually, I could un unslime them. Very easily unslime them. There we go. this in here. I'm gonna take the pink slimes out of our place. Because it seems like a good idea to do so. I'm gonna collect some loose chickens while I'm at it. We're cleaning up our yard, folks. No more pink slimes. And the one poop that they left. What do you get me for feeding it to you? Well, you can have those three. I don't need anything in return. You can just keep that. We're going on an adventure. We're gonna make the slimy spook. Yeah, and these ones come out only at night and they're like super cute, but you have to install shieldy things so that they don't die. It's very sad if they do because you're like, oh, don't disappear, you're so cute. Rocky caves. For what it has, this game at least has 10 hours of content right now. I think I did the main scenario thingy in like five to seven in different intervals every time when they make an update so I would say that it's worth it but it's still not fully complete so might as well wait if you want the full game it's just such a cute game and these ones are angry slimes bad angry cookie we no want to play with bad angry cookies Honestly, we're going towards an even worse or angrier cookie. Never mind. Ah, oh, that face! Slime keys have the cutest faces. And down the hole we go. Okay. Gonna steal from Boom Slime. Already getting themselves consumed because they're stupid like that. Oh no. Oh no, I got I got myself in the corner and this isn't a good thing. Don't want to be eaten. There we go. You see, there's a lot of varied slimes around here, hence why they eat each other. No. My honey pours. I had fruit. What do you. Booms eat meat. These eat fruit, so. Essentially, I can't just have a combination of them. I, I want one life. I want another one life. Three boom slimes. Good. We want more honey plorts and we want more boom slimes. not die like one more boom sport slime thing please no. sad face no that's a no let's get out yes no I lost it how do you there we go don't go away, slime. Gonna take care of you. Forgot how you leave this area. There is, 
that the exit is at the different spot in the entrance. I know that much. I will get some extra slimes because the moment they start putting out plorts, they're gonna eat them. I think the exit is this way, honestly. And yeah, these are bad. This is what happens when you have more than two times of slime mix. Just something that you don't want to happen. Those are just very explosives and dangerous. Avoid at all costs. That is absolutely beautiful. I mean, my frame rate doesn't like it, but I don't care because that is very, very nice. I'm gonna take out some of the honey plorts here. The idea for all the newer areas is literally... You run through, you get some slams and some plort plorts before they all self-destruct. And some chickens if you feel like it, because I like getting chickens. There we go. Got that. Got some more. And more. I have a lot of boom booms by now. And then you find the starport and it takes you back home. See? Convenient travel. First of all, there's five slimes. We can eat five ports. Diet, fruit, and meat. Perfect. There's chickens for now. Here's some plorts for sale. Immediately we start getting more plorts back. Just make sure not to get too many of them because... Well, first of all, boomies ouchies, but secondly, they can push themselves out of the cage. Which is not something that you want. I'm trying to just because I have no no upgrades. I'm just trying to respectfully collect their plorts before they explode me to death. Being exploded to death is not the great thing. Do not explode. There is one type of slime that you cannot imprison. And it is the gold slime. You can just feed stuff to the gold slime. You cannot make it yours. Which is sad. I want my own gold slime. You can also make a storage room for all of the collectible things that you're getting. And my main save I has a really big one. Air net. It will not let them go away, which is a good thing. The rest we need more money for. How are you doing, my pretties? You all good? Yeah, I thought so. Might as well just run outside and get some plort plorts. Do you want to upgrade? I'm playing this game mode all wrong, am I not? <laughs> because I'm not- No, I don't farm. I want to upgrade. Yeah, I want to upgrade for easy life. Because it's- If you can get automation going, it's like the best thing ever. 
Because you're like, okay, my slimes have eaten, I don't have to worry about things. Mm, I'm seeing small phosphorus slimes. Because I was like, oh, what's two slimes in the distance? That's a plort. That's some plorts. I don't want your chickens. You you can grow full grown chickens out of small chickens. You can use them for feed. It makes such cute noises, don't it? Ow! Ow! We're gonna feed the remaining four boom slides, the slimes with pink floats because fun. But we need to set up more things to do so. Yeah, we also need more moments. Or you destroy the world, bad slimes! I'm gonna take out the plorts from here. But that's how the game goes. And you just kind of run around, unlock new areas, set up your slimes, unlock new areas at your home, which is a thing that you can do, and have some slimes there too, and have some automation and stuff, and then you're like, this is really cozy, and they look super cute, and money because money is good then you're like yeah I like this place and that's how you live that's how you roll and you have to reset your own stuff from time to time like I would need to replant that tree but it's not a big deal you can do this people not very hard Can we afford another one of those? Slime coral. We do need some more for high walls. Let's just throw them away until we have four. There we go. Perfect. Hi. Hey, Boombots. Here's some food. Good to know that you like everything. Everything is the greatest food. Do I need to replant the plants? Not yet. That will produce more things before I need to do so. Here's half of the gather for you. And you guys still look fed. What are you doing, chicken? Go back with the happy slimes. Happy painful slimes. Happy painful slimes where Murta explodes. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Go, go, stay there. Stay there while I calmly collect your poop. There we go. That's some poop gone. Isn't it all better, buddy? Yeah, it is! Ow. That's my pink floor. I feed you, you poop for me. Perfect arrangement. Some people are good at this and are collecting some serious 
slime dart stuff. And this way we would never have to collect ourselves from there ever again. It could be auto-collected for us. So we don't need to explore. But yeah, thank you for watching Slime Rancher. It's a really cute game on Steam. Early access. Super chill if you want to chill. The challenge mode point is to collect as much stuff as possible in five days. I'm not very good at and the regular timeless thing mode is just you you live your life as a slime rancher with smiley slabs and it's super chill so that's the only point that it has so yeah thank you for watching